Today's episode is sponsored by Brantner Jigs Glacier Glove All right, guys. Jason, the Arizona Desert Fisherman here with you, Heritage Pond, and that literally was the first bite that I have had all winter long. So that's awesome, a little baby bass. And that's what we're using right there. We're using Brantner jigs with a little wax worm. Now the cool thing about Brantner jigs is they're all UV jigs and uh, they're all hand painted. So if you have a UV light, you can put it on there and they will glow under the water there. Uh, and the other really cool thing is, I'll get a screenshot here so you can actually see it, but the jig head is molded around the line tie. Uh, so you basically can't even tell that there's a hole there to tie your line into. So that's really cool. Uh, that was the first first bite of the winter season. Almost had him as a baby largemouth. He got off right here at the top of the hole. So we're going to see if we can't catch him or another one again here. Normally they try to stay in the same spot. So I'm fishing about three and a half feet deep, just a couple inches off of the bottom. Uh, you know, I got my bobber here. So we'll see if we can't get another bite from one. Supposedly the ring perch are on this side of the pond. Normally I'm fishing on the other side of the pond, right behind where the camera is. Uh, and that's where all the trout and the bluegill and the crappies are. But I've been told that the ring perch are on this side. So that's what I was hoping for today, but if we can catch a couple of largemouth bass, even if they're small, that'll do. But anyway, like I was saying, these Brantner jigs here are really, really nice. Because, like I said, he, he paints them with the UV paint. And if you don't know what that means, basically it's ultraviolet paint. And fish see in ultraviolet colors. So if you go out, I think at Walmart you can buy a, a UV flashlight for $9. They sell them by the ice fishing equipment and you hold that UV light over the jig for a few seconds or whatever 30 seconds the jig will actually glow underwater so that's really nice especially here because our water isn't necessarily dark but it's muddy it's not clear water by any means at all um, especially after this year we had a lot of rain so there's a lot of mud down there and that just attracts the fish even more with that UV color because like I said they see in UV light so if they see something in their spectrum of light, you know, they're going to, especially during the winter time, if it's small, they're going to attack it no matter what it is. Uh, and then, like I said, with the jig head, you know, just having the actual jig head molded around the line tide, that's something that I've never seen before. Uh, it does make it a little more difficult for people like myself, if you don't have very good hands, to get the line in there to actually tie the knot. But once you get it in there, it's really, really nice. You can't tell that there's a line tie on it at all. Uh, they're very, very affordable. And like I said before, he hand paints all of them. Uh, I'll show you a couple of screenshots here of some of the jigs that he did for me. Here are some of the jig heads that I got. I know I said I was going to show you a screenshot, but I changed my mind. Uh, they're all different sizes. You know, that one's pretty big. Um really cool different paint jobs the polka dots there different colors kind of looks like a clown and that's what I was talking about right there I hope you could see that uh, the jig head being molded around the line tie this one's really cool red white and blue with a star um, this is the color right here and size that I'm using in the actual video where I caught the fish kind of a bluegill pattern and that's the size like I said right there uh, all different sizes uh, so we are going to show you here get these charged up with the UV flashlight like I said nine dollars at Walmart guys so we'll get that on there about 30 seconds you want to keep it on there and look even without my office light being off you can see that those glow and then boom that is just absolutely awesome guys that's what it's going to look like underwater because the water is dark with the ice over it that's just absolutely awesome so as you can see he's got some fun designs uh you know my daughter loves using the one with the different colored dots on it 
uh, you know, the red, white, and blue one with the star, that one's all good too, you know, and those, they actually work in the water, so it's not just a gimmick on a paint job, you know. Uh, like I said, they're really, really affordable. Kevin is an awesome guy to work with. Uh, so let's see. I think we got something playing with it down here right now. So we'll see if we can't get any more bites here. But I'm very, very excited. That was the first bite that I've had all winter long. We've been fishing for about a month every weekend straight. And that's the first, first fish that we've ever seen. So that's a good sign. There's a bite. Oh, we missed him. That was something bigger. Let's see if we can't get a hold of him again. There we go. What do we got? Oh my god, guys. No way. No way. Guys. All right. We got a trout. For a while there, it looked like it was a northern. All right, guys. Well, the first fish that I have touched for the winter season. Caught that right in the corner of the lip with the Brantner jig. All right, big guy. Nice rainbow trout. Go home. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, sorry about my little freak out there, but for a minute I thought it was a northern pike. Just by the way that it was looking under the water, you know, it was going by so fast, and all I saw was green and white dots, but, man, that trout put up one heck of a fight. And that just goes to show you that old classic uh, ice fishing rods like this one right here can still hold up against anything. Uh, you know very very excited first fish uh, that I've actually touched out of the ice here you know like I said at the beginning of the video we hooked up that baby largemouth uh, popped off the hook at the top of the hole but not a big deal very very happy about that nice looking rainbow trout uh, I could have kept him but I don't feel like cleaning any fish today when I get home uh, I gotta go and get some groceries anyway later on you know so right there you know this is the first time I'm using these Brantner jigs and they work really really well uh, I don't think there's a lot of fish over here right now it kind of seems like those two fish that I hooked up with were kind of just cruising by because any other time at this pond if you find the fish and you throw anything at them you're gonna get bites non-stop until all the fish are gone uh, so I think those guys were just cruising by, which is even better for those jigs, because if the fish are just cruising by, they're not necessarily looking for anything to eat, but those jigs are standing out to them, so they're nailing them. Uh, you know, the one I got on here right now is almost like a bluegill sunfish pattern. Uh, it's got a couple of stripes on it, orange belly, a little blue, a little green, a little black. Uh, so it's really, really cool, and it's producing already, you know. I've been out here for not even 20 minutes and I've already hooked up with two fish. Uh, so definitely guys, check out Brightner Jigs. I'm gonna have the link down below in the description box. Uh, like I said before, Kevin is a great guy to work with. He's really nice. Uh, you know, all the hand-painted jigs. I mean, you, you gotta love anything that somebody actually puts their work into instead of a machine making it. Of course, got my Glacier glove hybrid mittens on the Alaska River series keeping my hands nice and warm I forgot my hood today but not a big deal it's not terribly cold out and I'm sitting with my back against the wind and this Russell sweatshirt you know I've talked about them a million times before but guys I, I'm serious about this go out to Walmart and spend the 20 bucks that's all it is I mean they're wind resistant that should be enough to, for you to get them right there you know they're waterproof they're just they're awesome sweatshirts all I'm doing here guys you know I just tied tied the jig head up with a simple Palomar knot threw one wax worm on it you know just because the hooks are small but the hooks are super sharp um, 
I threw one wax worm on it, and like I said, I got it about three feet deep, just about an inch or two off of the bottom. And every couple of minutes, I'm just kind of bouncing it up and down and moving it around a little bit. But I did notice that those two fish that took it, took it while it was just sitting still. All right, guys, well, what did we learn today? <clears throat> First of all, I learned that I need to start bringing a towel with me, ice fishing to dry my hands off after I catch a fish because my hands are still pretty cold even inside the Glacier Glove Mittens here. Uh, but anyway, the Brantner jigs totally passed my test. You know, like I said, I was here for 20 minutes and I hooked on to two fish. Uh, the first time using the jigs and I know some of you might think that that's not saying a lot because any jig can catch a fish but it's the simple fact that I've been fishing for a month now with several different jigs you know a few that we got in the mystery tackle box uh, ice fishing box others that I bought at Dick's and Bass Pro Shops stuff like that you know and I haven't caught one single fish until today until I tied on Brantner jigs the UV paint on them, awesome. You know, get one of those UV uh, flashlights from Walmart for $9, that's all it costs. Put it on there and it'll glow under the water and attract so many more bites. Uh, very, very affordable. I'll have the price down in the description box for you guys and I'll have their website down below so you can uh, go on and order. All of their jigs are hand painted, so he puts a lot of work into those. Uh, show him some support, guys, go over and order some. Uh, tell him that I sent you over and let's see if you can't get a deal on them. Uh, but that's going to do it for us here today. i got to get home and get the family out to supper. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Add me on the social media accounts listed below. Uh, we're on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, everything. We're on everything except for dating websites. You know, that's kind of my motto now. Uh, we're going to stick around for maybe about five more minutes, and then we're going to head out here and get going with the rest of my day. But thank you guys very much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.